Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. And I know it's been a long time since I had a sit down vlog and I have not uploaded a single video for about three weeks or one month now. So I'm really sorry. I've been so busy with my work and with my students and I know my bangs is awkward because my student cut it so it's not really good. But anyway, this vlog would be a mixture of English and Tagalog. So, wag kayong magalit sa akin pa nagi English ako. The reason why I'm speaking in English is because I have viewers from other countries. But since this video will be about how I got my Japanese visa multiple entry for five years Japanese visa for Filipino applicants, so I'll be speaking Tagalog. If you are a foreigner, if you are a subscriber or a viewer from another country, I'm sorry, I think this will not be applicable for you. So, if you want to learn how I got my five year multiple Japan visa, well, subscribe and keep on watching. Okay, so here is how a multiple entry Japanese visa look like. Actually, I cannot show you all the details, so I'm struggling of how can I show it to you without showing all my <clears throat> details so it will show their multiple it is in red and then there's date of issue and then expiry and that's mine is February 2019 to February 2024 so it's really five years and when we say multiple entry I can go for five years um, anytime I want, so it will mas madali siya sa akin because uh, madalas naman na ako nakakuha ng mga seat sale and madalas na rin nag-sale ang Narita Airport now sa Cebu Pacific. So, it's just that uh, limited yung stay. It's just for about 30 days. You can only stay in Japan for 30 days and I think that's enough. And um, a little background, I have a sister living in Japan. She's been there for three years now. I also have two aunts and a lot of cousins living in Japan. So, I think accommodation will not be a problem. And the first time na nagpunta ako sa Japan, I had the visa, the visit relative visa. So, I did not submit any documents from myself. I did. I just filled out the form and then had my picture taken, my 2 by 2 picture taken. Um, all the financial documents, lahat ng bank certificate and things like that came from my Japanese um, uncle, my aunt's husband, who is a Japanese. And there, it was sponsored. Yun yung first time ko nag Japan. Lahat ng documents needed for the visa application did not come from me so I had no idea how the application went but this time nagkaroon talaga ako ng target since um, pumasok yung January and I'm about to renew, I'm a business owner and I'm about to renew my permits and to pay, to change my ITR 1701 so maganda yung standing ng business ko last year Kaya maganda rin yung ITR, yung laman ng ITR. Sabi, eh, netong 2018, hindi siya ganun ka ganda kasi nag-travel ako nag-travel and hindi ako nag-focus sa business. So, uh, mag reflect siya sa bago kong ITR. So, sabi ko, bago mapalitan yung ITR ko, gusto ko muna mag-apply ulit ng Korean and Japanese visa. At ang target ko talaga ay multiple for Japan visa. Kasi, um, if makakuha ko ng single entry, I have to go to Japan within 3 months and hindi ako prepared. I have no budget. So, gusto ko multiple na para I can take my time, makapag-ipon, makapag-plano at hindi biglaan. So, ang um, okay, I'm giving you a lot of background para lang maintindihan nyo kung anong klaseng traveler ako. Um, I applied for the Korean visa first. I had, I've been to Korea before makikita nyo naman yan sa mga videos ko. Um, and it was approved. Right after ma-approve siya, kinuha ko yung um, passport ko from Travel Pros in Mega Mall. Kinuha ko lang siya at pumunta ako sa Rally Tours sa Mega Mall din sa Building A 
malapit siya sa kay ni Rogers at nag-submit ng mga requirements. Since meron na akong requirements for Korean visa, ready na rin yung requirements ko for Japan visa. And to be honest, less yung requirements ng Japan visa compared to Korean visa. And I will explain more of that, of the requirements later. So first, um, what are the categories? Sino ba yung mga pwedeng um, mag-apply? Sino yung eligible na mag-apply ng multiple visa? So I'll be reading. I got it from uh, the Japanese embassy website. This is not from me. Okay, eligible applicants. All of the following conditions must be applicable. So, lahat to dapat ay machikan. Meron kang Philippine passport. Philippine national holding passport. And then, number two, applicants who intend to engage in activities corresponding to those permitted for temporary visitors. So, they are making sure na hindi ka involved into any business or work pagpunta mo ng Japan, so gagala ka lang talaga, wala kang um, a-applyan, or wala kang any need for business. And number three, applicants who wish to apply for a multiple entry visa for short-term stay. It means short-term stay. Ikli lang. You can't stay for a very long time because you're just a uh, tourist. And you can't stay for more than one month. So lahat yun dapat check. And then, conditions for issuance should be any of the following. Ito naman, isa lang yung kailangan mong matamaan dito sa mga categories na to. Number one, applicant with history of travel as temporary visitor to Japan in the last three years and has no known violation of domestic laws of Japan nor had problem with immigration regarding entry. So, sa Tagalog, Nakapunta ka na ng Japan within the past 3 years at wala kang violate na any law, wala kang naging problema sa immigration, hindi ka na offload, and walang kahit anong nangyaring masama sa'yo. You had a successful uh, trip to Japan in the past 3 years. So, this is the category that I checked. Kasi nakapal-Japan ako last year, April. And then, next, number 2, applicant with history of travel as temporary visitor to Japan in the last three years and ito naman yung G7 countries kung hindi nyo alam yung G7 countries search nyo na lang andan yung Italy ang Japan Canada basta search for G7 countries in Google so same lang siya ng category number one pero nakapunta ka na dun sa mga um included sa G7 countries. Number three, applicant with abundant financial capacity. It means, um, kahit hindi ka pa nakapag Japan before or hindi ka pa nakapunta sa G7 countries, itong category number three, madami kang pera, you have a lot of money. And it will reflect on your bank account. Number four, and the last category, spouse or child of number three. Um, this is the thing about applying for multiple visa. Um, hindi ka pwedeng makakuha ng kahit sinong sponsor lang. Y your boyfriend cannot be your um, sponsor or your tita or tito, uncle, aunt, rel par, relatives cannot be. So, since nag-apply ako ng multiple visa, um, I I could not do what I did last time I went to Japan. Hindi ko pwedeng uh, gamitin yung documents ng sponsor ko last year, ng ate ko, or ng tita ko, or ng tito ko. It should be my own documents, my own money. Because wala naman akong asawa, and wala naman akong anak na makakapag-sponsor sa akin. Alright, so now, ito na requirements. Listen carefully, and kung hindi nyo man to uh, matitake down Lahat, you can find this on Google. In explain ko lang. So, number one, explanation letter for requesting multiple entry visa. Um, please fill in embassy prescribed form. Actually, pag puto yun naman ng agency, meron na silang multiple entry request form na ibibigay sa inyo at meron maliit na box do na pwede kang mag-explain bakit gusto mong pumunta ng Japan multiple times, not just one time. But what I did is nagsulat pa ako ng cover letter, ng explanation letter, pouring out my heart. And ang nilagay ko lang naman doon is 
I want to explore Japanese culture more. And hindi ko rin dineclare na may ate ako doon or na may mga kamag-anak ako doon dahil hindi na mag-visit relative yung ina-apply kong visa, hindi just tourist. And then, so that's the requirement number one, the multiple entry visa request form and explanation letter. Number two, passport. So, dapat maayos ang passport mo and you still have enough pages for the visa and the stamps. And, um, general rule, always remember na kung lalabas ka ng bansa, dapat meron pang 6 months availability ang iyong passport. Number 3, visa application form. Available at the embassy website, at the entrance of the embassy, or at any of the travel agencies. So what I did, nag drop by na ako sa Rally Tour sa Mega Mall beforehand, before pa ako mag-apply ng Korean visa and ng Japanese visa. So, uh, I had enough time to fill it out sa bahay ng maayos. And then, number 4, requirement number 4, photo. Uh, pag pumunta ka sa mga um, photo stores, photo studios sa Mega Mall or in, at any mall, they already know pag sinabi mong Japanese visa, alam na nila yung format. It should be white background and walang bangs, kita kilay, kita tenga. So, and then you have to write your name and birthday at the back of that photo upon submitting. Number 5, Schedule of Stay. Ah, may tawag sila dito sa Japanese. Basta ito yung parang isa sa pinaka-importante requirement pag mag apply ka either a both a single and multiple entry visa. You have to write your schedule, your itinerary upon arrival, saan ka pupunta bukas, where, what are the places you're going to visit. So I just declared 4 days of stay. Pili ko kasi mas mataas yung chances of being approved of multiple visa pag nakita nilang hindi ka naman hayok na hayok sa pagka-travel. Uh, nilagay ko lang 4 days. It means, short man siya, makakabalik pa naman ako next time. So, I put in my first day of schedule is arrival and check-in at the hotel. Second day, Disneyland. Although, I've been to Disneyland before. Wala lang akong maisip. And then, number 3, explore Tokyo, Shibuya things like that. And number four is departure. So, parang ang bilis lang niya. Parang arrival and departure, two days lang ako nag-tour. Kasi, um, hindi ko naman naaral yung itinerary ko talaga. Yun lang yung nilagay ko. And then, next, number six, requirement number six, proof of travel to Japan in the last three years. So, Kung nag-renew ka na ng passport mo, dapat i-provide mo yung old passport mo. Or kung andyan lang naman yung passport mo, you just need to submit your passport. And number seven, income tax return or appli of applicant. Clear photocopy latest. So, since I'm a business owner, mine is not 2316. Mine is 1701. That is my ITR. And unlike in the Korean visa application na kailangan mo isubmit yung, yung lahat ng pages ng ITR mo, sa Japan visa, kinuha lang nila yung first page. That includes my name, the business name. And then, <clears throat> last requirement, proof of financial capacity. Applicant's bank deposit balance certificate. So, what do you mean bank cert? Bank certificate from your bank account. So, unlike Korean visa, you don't have to submit bank statement na nakikita nila yung labas at pasok ng pera. Um, so, feeling ko, pwede ang show money sa Japan visa. Kasi hindi nila naaari yung labas at pasok ng pera. At yung BDO ko na bank cert, wala namang ADB, just the total amount. So, kahit magpasok ka dyan ng one time lang at mag-submit ng um, application mo, pwede mo na ulit kunin yung pera. So, show money would be okay unlike in the Korean visa. Mm, okay, now we are finished with the categories of who are the eligible applicants and we are also finished with the requirements. Um, where did I apply? I already said earlier, Rally Tours Mega Mall, Building A, near um, Kenny Rogers and Starbucks. Yes, that part. And how long did my application um, last? Gano'ng katagal bago ko na-approve? 
um, I submitted my application on a Saturday and I know hindi naman nila masasubmit to agad sa embassy. They submitted it on Monday. They submitted my application sa embassy ng lunes and by Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I already received a text message that my passport is ready for pickup. But I was busy working and I really could not go. I could not pick it up. So I had to wait until Saturday. And that's when I got my passport back. But kung busy ka rin tulad ko, you can actually ask someone else to get your passport. You just have to give them a an authorization letter, a valid ID, photocopy of their valid ID, and their signature. So, I think that's it. That's all the important information about how I got my Japanese visa, my multiple entry Japan visa. And I'm really, really happy because uh, getting a visa is such a hassle and nakakaba pa rin siya kahit ilang visa na yung nakalagay sa passport mo. For me, wala pa rin kasiguraduhan na i-approve nila ang iyong application. Although, to be honest, I'm more confident this time that I applied compared to before. My first time I applied, hindi ako makatulog. Wala ka ibang maisip kundi yung visa application ko. Nakala, ma-approve kaya or not. But this time, parang chill lang ako. Parang, okay, ma-approve or not, okay lang. Kasi wala naman akong planong pumunta anytime soon. Except, Korean visa na na-approve din. So, I have to go and that's just single entry. So, um... I think that's it. If you have any more questions, you can comment down. And kung may nagawa na naman akong mali at hindi masyadong helpful to, you can bash me too. It's okay. So, yeah. That's it. And please, kung nakatulong man, don't forget to subscribe. Okay? I'll see you later. Bye-bye.